In this problem, is again asking me to solve a, a system of equations using the addition method. So in the addition method, I would like to have the equations add uh, so that one of the variables will drop out or add to zero when I add. At this point, nothing would drop out. And there's no one number that I can multiply either equation by so that a variable would drop out. So again, in this case, I'm going to have to multiply both equations by something. So when I look at them, I can either work with the x terms, and I'm looking for the smallest uh, multiple of 3 and 4, smallest common multiple, and that would be 12. So I could get 12 as my x coefficients. Or I can go to my y's, and again, the smallest common multiple for these two, 3 and 5, would be 15. So I could either work with my x's or y's. Um, neither of them have opposite signs. So in either case, I'm going to have to use a negative constant times one of the equations in order to get my opposite signs to add to 0. So I have my choice. I'm going to go ahead and work with the x's. So if I work with the x's and 12 was the smallest common multiple, I can multiply the top equation by 3 to get a 12x here. And then I need to multiply the bottom equation by actually a negative 4, so I could get a negative 12x. So I would have the two uh, equations adding to 0x. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to multiply this top equation by a negative 3, or excuse me, by a positive 3. And I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by a negative 4. Okay. So the top equation is multiplied by 3, and the bottom equation by negative 4. Now when I do that, remember I need to multiply the 3 by each term on each side of the equation. So everything gets multiplied by that 3. So 3 times 4x is 12x, and then I have a minus 9y equals 24. So everything got multiplied by 3. On the bottom equation, I'm getting an equivalent equation by multiplying everything by a negative 4. So each part, each term by negative 4. And negative times positive is a negative, so I get a negative 12x. Negative times a negative is a positive 20y. And a negative times a negative is a positive, and 4 times 16 is uh, 64. At this point, I have gotten to my goal of having one of the terms, one of my variable terms, is going to cancel out to 0. And I'll have negative 9y plus 20y, which is positive 11y, equals 24 plus 68 is 88. I want to solve for y. So I can divide both sides by that coefficient, and I'll get y equals 8. So for my solution, I know my y value is 8. Now I want to find the corresponding x value. So to do that, I go back and pick one of my original equations. I'll do this one, 4x minus 3y equals 8. And I'm going to substitute that 8 in for y and solve for the corresponding x. So I have 4x minus 3 times, and then in for y I'm going to put 8 equals 8. 4x minus 24 equals 8. And I'll continue solving the equation for the x. Last step will be divide by that coefficient, and I got x equals 8. So in this case, the x and y value turn out to both be 8. And to check that uh, solution, I'm going to go ahead and pick the equation that I haven't used lately here. I'm going to use this equation, 3x minus 5y equals negative 16. And I'm going to substitute the values into that equation and make sure that point is the solution. So I have 3 times 8 minus 5 times 8 equals negative 16, which is 24 minus 40. And 25 minus 40 is indeed negative 16. So my answer did check, and I feel confident that that point is a solution to the system of equations. Another way to say that is if I graph the system of equations, they would intersect at the point 8, 8.